Hey guys, Tarko Cycle of FPB, and I am going to be pulling out uh, some of these uh, HAKRC uh, -H flight controllers. These are the F7s, and uh, we've been told by a couple customers that when they've plugged them in to USB, they've had no power at all, or that they tried to flash it and the power went out and never came back. Um, the two boards that were sent back to me here, one of these has nothing on it. It has never been soldered at all. The other one has barely any solder on it, and the pads looked really clean. I checked it out already. Uh, so I decided what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually... Um, do a uh, picture in picture here so let's try it like this all right we're gonna do something like this right so I'm going to take the boards and I'm going to plug them in and we've got about 30 or 40 boards here that we're gonna test and I'm gonna get the USB cable here and we're gonna check each one of them and we're gonna see if this is what happens uh, when I do them okay and they said there was nothing else plugged in so we're gonna start board number one okay looks like we're good and then we're gonna go ahead and log in and let's go ahead and just, while we're at it, get a reading for the um, version. So let me get a key right here. Get a reason, reading for the version of the firmware. There we go. And we're going to be using the HAKRC F722. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're just going to update the firmware. Let's go F G H. Right here. Okay, and then there we go. So we're gonna do. We're gonna load the firmware and do a. Uh, we're gonna flash it. And we're gonna see. I mean, if this happens, or if there's something else going on, maybe. Uh, but before I jump to conclusions, I want to just make sure that we've tested them out. Okay. So there's one. Good news is, is that when you receive one of these, you'll know that I would have already opened it and tested it. See, you know, outside of some strange, strange thing happening, there's really no way of saying, hey, plugged it in, it didn't work, uh, unless, because hopefully if those do exist, we catch them now and we get rid of those ones and get the factory to replace them, okay? So it's been reflashed. And now we're gonna disconnect. Reconnect. And click connect again. And we're going to apply custom defaults. Okay. And there we go. This one's good. So look, let, let's just go over this real quickly, okay? All right, so I went through 37 brand new, unopened um, HAKRC F7 flight controllers, all right? And I had a total of zero that were bad. Zero that wouldn't boot up when the USB was plugged in. Zero that wouldn't power up, period. Zero that didn't have lights flicker. I mean, the lights that were um, not working. So I think at the end of the day, I'm looking around here trying to see... So here's the deal. Uh, what I can tell you is that the inventory that we have is not damaged or broken or defective in any way. Now, does that mean that it didn't happen? No, it means it happened. Like the customer said, I'm gonna give the customer the benefit of the doubt. I've got no reason to believe that they didn't happen. However, what I cannot tell you is if the voltage that's going out of their USB device or what have you may be causing it to, uh, to short out. I can tell you that people that use USB hubs would be advised not to. Um, but I also will tell you that uh, if I can test 37 boards and not one have a single glitch, then it tells me that the boards themselves are not arriving here defective, at least not for this, for what the claim, oops, for what the claim might be. Um, but it doesn't mean that the boards are not failing if put in the wrong environment or an environment that perhaps is, uh, uh, let's just say, a uh, high voltage or something like that. So, uh, but to to take the burden off H. AKRC and not let them have to take the brunt of this blame 
Um, I wanted to do this live so that I could show at least the 37 boards that I have in stock from them are not defective. So for the guys that did send the, the two of them to us that they said they did not work, obviously we're going to be replacing those for you. Um, but um, in the future, guys, please uh, check your USB ports and everything else as well, just because I don't know what it may be. But if, uh, if we do see it again, then we're going to probably have to ask that we uh, get some more information on the USB ports and everything else that's going on, just so that we can try to pinpoint it. Because in this hobby, it is very easy to break some of these things and not realize that you've done something. And it's not intentional. It just could be a high voltage USB port, for example. Um, all right. Uh, either case, guys, thank you very much for your time. That's all. I just wanted to do this. I uh, figured as a part of our quality control and what we owed you guys. If you have any questions, uh, please just go to our page uh, using our, our contact page there, and you can uh, submit a ticket and uh, other information. Follow us on Facebook, and please also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, there's been a lot of talk lately about all this crap going on with, the, uh, with, with, with stuff. I think I've even been banned now from a couple pages. Um, ah, they're just, you know, it is what it is, but you'll see my report on that soon enough. And for those of you that banned me, relax. I mean, my God, this is supposed to be a community where we work together. And clearly that's not the case unless I say that you're right all the time. So I'm sorry, but I'm not your yes man. Um, but we'll definitely put some information out to try to educate those people that think that what you did was right. Until then, guys, peace. Uh, spend time with your family and always God bless. Fly safe. And don't give the FAA a reason to hate us any more than those guys that, uh, fly into bridges and through parking garages when they're not supposed to. Talk to you soon. Bye.